My guest tonight speaks out against the evil of mountaintop removal, but I like to think of it as flatland enhancing. Please welcome Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Good to see you again, Mr. Kennedy. Please, no formality. Now, uh, uh, sir, you're a lawyer, you're an environmental activist, you're president of the Waterkeeper Alliance, and you're also featured in a new documentary film called The Last Mountain. Mountaintop removal is a very destructive form of strip mining. And over the past 10 years, four coal companies have leveled an area of the Appalachians larger than the state of Delaware. If you went out here to the Hudson and filled 100 feet of stream, we would put you in jail. But in Appalachia, they've blown up 500 of the biggest mountains in West Virginia. In 10 years, they filled 2,500 miles of rivers and streams. It's all illegal, but they get away with it. Their business plan of these companies like Massey Coal, which is a criminal enterprise, is to break the law and then subvert democracy to get away with it. If we had a true free market in the energy sector, coal could not survive for a minute. We can make energy a lot cheaper in this country with wind, with solar, with geothermal, with all kinds of renewables, even natural gas. Let me guess, gas. hemp, hemp, something like that? <laughs> Who's being hurt here, really? Well, as this movie shows, the people in Appalachia, anybody who gets in the way of coal, despite the mantra of the coal industry that we bring jobs, we bring prosperity. Yes, they do. I hear they bring jobs in and fact, prosperity. They bring pro <laughs> they bring they bring poverty and and they destroy jobs. There's only fifteen thousand miners left and only half of them are unionized. You have a few large coal companies who have subverted democracy at every level. They've corrupted the judges, they've corrupted the public officials. As we showed, two-thirds of the people in West Virginia oppose mountaintop mining, but there's not a single politician in the state who opposes it because they've been purchased by the coal industry. And that's not a good thing for American democracy. You know, democracy is supposed to be about people, not about how much money you have. Thank you, Mr. Kennedy. Robert F. Kennedy, Jr.